Okay, welcome. This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fates. Why you? <laughs> the heck is he thinking, locking us in a poopy looking place like this? Don't fuck with me. <clears throat> Are you oinking crazy? Don't mess with me, butthole. <laughs> Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. It looks like everyone knows. Even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked towards the seats we had been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Byakuya. It's that one on the right. Hmm. <laughs> the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending but he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. Oh my God. The person who did it is one of us? I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true, The stupid dancer girl's face is I know. just always... She's so unbothered all the time. She could literally kill someone, get found out, and be like, ah, alright. She's like, well, oh, whatever. We need to find out, by any means possible, because that's our only option. There's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. Imagine how stressful it is, like, being at this point and realizing, like, I probably gotta do this again. Yeah. And again and again and again until there's like what one person left i have no idea <laughs> and so this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun <laughs> yeah probably not a bad idea <clears throat> okay we don't have any skills yet can we buy okay oh, thank god i think we can buy <laughs> i was gonna say i have not bought a single one what? set skills Oh, we do have to equip them. Okay. Okay, so lost in thought, cool and composed. Neural liberation. There That's we go. That's all we got. Okay. Hopefully, we can beat this the first try. Yeah, it'd um, be annoying to watch if we have to go through it again. We can always just skip around it. Yeah, yeah, easy. Um. Some of the mini games are kind of hard. All right, trial time. Now then, let's begin with a simple Goodbye, explanation voice of the class That's trial. Right. I need to focus. During Look the class it. trial, you will so present your arguments for who the kid <laughs> is and vote for who done it. Mm-hmm. Man, Nagito's kind of tall. Seriously. Maybe everyone else is just short. Oh my god, Gundam's huge. And she's tiny, tiny. If okay, you vote whatever. correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, <coughs> I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Among us? us? <laughs> Most definitely! There is no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among you! <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair! So there's no need to worry! Mm. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice! Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. You hate me that much? Now. How she have mushrooms let's going begin. on her head still? Mm. You're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? No complaining. Let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? I like listening to voice actors. Didn't that Biakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall? Huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Can't censor that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. What you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. 
This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? <laughs> his voice is... A lot of the other voices are somewhat accurate. His but is his just... is completely different. Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Okay. Let's start with that mystery. The reason why Biakia's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately, we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that... So we'll all vote at the end. Okay. Um, no. Thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this, no matter what. So the class trial has finally started. <clears throat> From this point on, I will provide a simple tutorials at every important moment. <laughs> Please excuse my ear-tainting rudeness. I'll let you read the, uh... Okay. As things progress during each class trial, you will need to engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, all of your classmates will speak one after the other without any breaks. I love the music. It's up to you to reveal any lies or mistakes contained within their statements. They're dancing right now. Yeah, you guys are both dancing. That means you have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Out of all the truth bullets you find during your investigation, only the relevant ones, we're dabbing, will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to move the reticle, then fire with the Y button. <laughs> this is all you, man. I know. Pay close attention to each character's statements and choose your truth bullets to blast the right one. Okay, I've really got to focus up right now. Some people look so nervous. <laughs> Some people do not care. <laughs> Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. Okay, so I need to shoot the stuff with the truth bullets. Where it's relevant. Right. If you press the menu button during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. <sighs> yeah, have fun. I'm scared. I'm stressed. I'm scared. <laughs> Knife, bloodstain under table, gaps in floorboard. Wait, what's the button? Wait. Why was Byakuya's body? Okay. Okay, yeah, we need to... Th so... To select the truth bullet is the left bumper. So th that's how I changed that. Like that. Oh wait, but what's the uh... Okay, concentrate? That should be the slow motion. His body was underneath the table. Okay, what are my facts? Gaps in floorboard, bloodstain under table, knife. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Bloodstain under the table. No, huh? gaps under Why? floorboard. Obviously by hiding the body, they tried to delay its discovery! Like a dog burying a bone! Okay. So the most relevant one... So it'll replay it, that's how you know. Clearly contradicts the information I know. The Why gaps... Was body? Wait, isn't there like a fast forward? Why is it gaps in the floorboard you have picked? In a place um, like that. I don't really understand. Wouldn't it be blood stain under the table? Under oh, the table. you might be right. Here, I need to pay more attention. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Blood stain under the table. Yeah, huh? you're right. Why? Is that when we have to shoot it? Mm-hmm. Obviously, by hiding the body. Do we only have five minutes to do this whole thing? They tried to delay its discovery. I think it's just this like segment. A dog a okay. Bone. Okay, play one more time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being oh, okay. I'm being epic, like that. right? His body was so when Soda table. says it, we shoot him, and we shoot the words. The dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's wrong. You're wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> What is all that? No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Shut up, Aaron. It <laughs> <laughs> is There was a lot of blood everywhere. There was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through. 
So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. I like the voice acting. Mm -hmm. oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. <laughs> it's okay, so that happens. <laughs> he looks so sad. And then look at him in the You're left. So stupid mm -hmm. and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. Who invited you? Can we shoot her with a real bullet? <laughs> I respond better to praise, you know. <laughs> Don't we all? But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byakuya was probably killed under the table. Through the floorboards. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? It doesn't matter. Just stop. <laughs> Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big <laughs> joke. <laughs> You're completely wrong. <laughs> no, I think she's right on this one. The hell he was? Watch that is the you right answer. <laughs> couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Well, why was a knife under there? Um. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the maybe, table. Maybe. I don't know. Well, that'll probably get answered later, though. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party. Oh, because he was... Think? He was trying to protect everyone from a Byakuya murder. put the knife under there so that when the murderer came to do something, he could be ready to attack. When the blackout came out, he's like, okay, time to defend myself ran for the knife and got ready to retaliate. The only problem with that theory is that he had weapons in his case right next to him. And that's where he got the night vision goggles out of. Why wouldn't he just grab the taser from there? Well, yeah, why did he go underneath the table? It'll it'll make more sense as we get through this. Okay. <clears throat> The reason Byakuya dove under the table is connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, then it's probably... Okay, so we need to select... Oh god, we have three minutes. Okay, has nothing to do with this. Do the knife was under the table. This the game. letter he got sent. It's gotta be the letter. That's why he was... That was the point of the party. Why, why'd the knife have blood on it, though, if he was stabbed with the thing? Is it possible he just fell onto the knife? Wait a minute. We thought Pecco might have been injured. Hmm. So the reason he... We, we have to pick one of these. Which is the reason he jumped under the table? Knife, I think, is a strong bet. Um, night vision goggles he had in the case with him. <laughs> I think it's this one, actually. The um, reason he jumped under the table... Um, hard plastic case, the key, okay, that shouldn't matter. Their accounts shouldn't matter, the iron shouldn't matter, that shouldn't matter, that shouldn't matter, that shouldn't matter, that shouldn't matter. No, 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 no. I think it's the knife. Okay. Does that sound right? Because why else would he go under the table if he saw that knife there? Maybe he put the knife there. But why? But why would he have the night, the glow-in-the-dark stuff if he had the night vision goggles? So, someone else put that knife there with the glow in the dark. I think he went there because of the... Do we have the uh, murder threat? Should we try this one? I think so. I th let's try it. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> yeah, we'll just maybe try next. Um, it's a learning experience. Th this may sound presumptuous, but I think that's wrong. Crap. Everyone's staring. Looks like I just made a fool of myself in front of everyone. We lost HP. So the knife? What else could it be? Let's try the knife, I guess. I can prove it with this. Okay. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. We sound so young. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Knife? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Nope, you're wrong! Byakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. 
Why would he need glow-in-the-dark tape on it, though, if he has the night vision goggles? He noticed it was there, not he put it there. But why would he dive under that just because he noticed it? To try oh, and stop. to try and stop someone from getting... It was a bait. It was bait. You think it was bait to get him to go underneath it? They knew he'd try and stop it. Once and they were waiting right under there. Underneath they, the floorboard. They shaked him. <laughs> With the steak skewer. Yeah. Oh, I, I, good. That's smart. I think so. Did he notice that there was a knife under the table? Maybe he knew it was there all along. Just so he could get the jump on the killer. But what was he honestly gonna just get to the knife first before that? Do you think it was bait to get him there or bait that he set to get a killer there? Mm. I think it was bait to get him there. I think so. Um let's if he move knew on. beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Right, yeah. It's something he had to have noticed during. Instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Because it glue in the dark, and he was standing kind of in a spot where he might have been able to see it. But it was under the tablecloth. How do you have been able to see it at Unless that moment? Someone lifted it up. As bait. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Steak skewer. It was tall enough to reach and shake him through the floorboards. You think it's he not lifted that, up the. It's not that hard to assume. Okay. I don't know if the game would get that specific, but I feel like it's a possibility. Okay. Like, for example, More stuff will get you uncovered. Might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. Yeah. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial. It is. Our lives are on the line. <laughs> During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot, but from this point on, there will be various weak spots standing in your way. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will be only one lie or contradiction in the debate at the time. So what's the incorrect thing that was said? This means there will be false weak spots. If you shoot a false weak spot with a truth bullet, not only will you fail to refute what was said, you'll also lower your trust with everyone and your influence gauge will take damage. If your influence gauge reaches zero, you will fail, so please be extra careful. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually advised for mistakes. Also, if you can concentrate. <laughs> I hope you're... I don't understand. Me neither. Oh my god, there's too many! We have time to let AC? it run through. Yeah, okay. Sure we have six minutes. The table. Okay. During the blackout. Okay. True, correct. I follow that. That sounds correct. It is correct. Good job. <laughs> She's really That's contributing. During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands <laughs> must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. Night vision goggles. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Yeah. Biakuya couldn't see in the dark either. That, that's the lie. Night vision goggles. Okay, we'll use it on the next time around. Okay. Okay. It's true. Getting under the table during the blackout would have been nearly impossible, but... But, uh, uh, sure is there a fast forward? Oh, there is. During the blackout. That sounds correct. <laughs> during the blackout, it's not the but it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see okay. my boo. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> we probably shouldn't use that slow mo so much though, because we're already halfway through it. Uh, I thought it regenerated between turns. No? no? Oh shoot. The one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? If he was using those night vision goggles we found under the table, he could have seen what was happening. Mm hmm. So, are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yes. Yeah. That seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Uh-uh! Back off, Wendy! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. What? Uh, other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the opposite. But it was in his case! Yeah, right next to him. Yeah, I was so sick. 
you want to read these? I kind of sure. stole from you last time. Were you surprised by My Hero's sudden argument? Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Just kidding, I'm sorry. Now then, when this kind of argument surfaces, you'll get into a one-on-one -on -one debate called Rebuttal Showdown. Ooh, we're gonna roast the heck out of you, Wendy's. Wendy's nuts. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's claim, draw out their weak spots, and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remarks with the left stick. So, Byaku's case. That's what we're gonna counter with. Hold on, this might be a different minigame. Based on the shape of their remarks, it's important to know whether to cut vertically, sideways... Yeah, I think this is different. <laughs> what is this talking about? And based on that, you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it will skew towards their advantage. In the bottom right hand corner of your screen, a number that shows the sharpness of your counter is displayed. I don't remember this one from the first game, this might be a new one. That is, this is the number of times you can cut remarks during one round of the debate. You lose counts of sharpness even if you miss. So please be very careful. When the mood skews your advantage for a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. This means the conversation will develop. Help! Help! <laughs> if that happens, they'll end up divulging some weak spots. However, you can not normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Instead, it will skew the moody, the mood toward the other party's advantage, plus it's going to be very big. Just like a regular debate, please refute any weak spots with the Y button. Well, I have a headache. It's okay, you don't even have to play, so... <laughs> I know, but that, like, still... I'm, like, still so stressed. Okay. It's the same thing with Truth Blades. Dura Lumen case, I'm thinking. Okay, If you probably. just use common sense. Pause. Okay. Slash in the direction you press. Slash in the direction. Okay, overturn. Fire Truth Blade. So we have time to wait this one out. Oh, shit. That's gotta be it. Where do you cut? I don't know. No. Dura Lumen case. I can't advance forward. I'm just listening. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously uses night vision goggles. Oh, That's sorry. I did too late. Sorry. I, I messed it up. I don't under... What are we supposed to do? Okay, I, th I think I get it. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. No. What? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. No? Help! <laughs> if you just see the killer obviously used those night vision goggles, that's gotta be it. What? I just spammed the button. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in a in Wait, reality. Stop. That's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The no, but they're a lumen case. Stop. I don't know what's going on. Oh, <sighs> Help! If you just use common sense. The killer uh. obviously used those night vision goggles. Wait, we only have so many cuts at the bottom. Well, whatever. Okay, so I got through that part. So now we have to switch to a different point and then do it? Hold on. <laughs> I, I really wish they gave us some sort of like... Or just showed us like the menu. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, so far, I really don't like the trial. Really? It's just, like, it's cool how it's formatted, but it's like, they throw all this at you and then give you no explanation on it. Then they could have killed Byakuya even in, in reality. That's what happened. What? So those goggles were planning. Help! I don't know what you're talking about. No! Damn it! If you just use common sense, the killer no. obviously used those night vision. That's gotta be it. So now we need to switch to a different point, I think, and attack her. Where's your proof that the killer used them? What? Because if they use night vision goggles. But what point would we use otherwise? There's the knife in the like storage room. 
we're still trying to prove that the night vision goggles were in the Dura Lumen. Then case. how else are you supposed to do this? It doesn't even tell I, you. I think I think I saw. Then they could have killed Yakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. No. Okay, I got it. I, I I get it now. Okay. I don't, but I got it. <laughs> Yakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely. But why? Inside the Duralumen case Byakuya had with him during the party, we found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. <laughs> you look so annoyed. I don't like this. It doesn't tell us anything. It's okay. I know. I know it's the learning curve, but it's still so annoying when it's like, oh, you're doing this wrong. <laughs> We're not going to tell you why, though. <laughs> Okay. Which means Whatever. we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Dura Lumen case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. Plus, Yakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. I hate you! <laughs> Then get put in your place. Knife inside the case too? No. You if idiot. There were no. Vision goggles inside. It wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? <laughs> Times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. What are you? Who are you talking to? Ew, you totally mean that in a perverted way. You totally do. The no, knife was brought in the Duralumen case along with the night vision goggles too? The tape, that's our rebuttal here. Yeah, no, that's not possible. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the duck party tape, even duck started. Tape, duck tape. Just, hold on, just so. I should be able to prove it with the duct tape. I see. There I'm was ready. duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape. Why well, you look so scared? <laughs> you sticking with that? Oh yeah. Oh, so that's why we found the duct tape there. Though Byakuya was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? The I know why. The no. Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing <coughs> a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? I think so. You think so too? Right, Hajime? Yeah, I think he was in possession of the all-seeing eye. <laughs> Imagine if you actually said that, everybody's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's the... Murder threat. Ta-da! Oh, we're getting our health back, though. Can you please yeah. take a look at this? Bum bum. Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Yakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. Hmm. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! Are you sure? <laughs> the only lies I tell are friendly lies. The best time. No, still lies. <laughs> it doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter. He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. Boom, boom. I know. <laughs> it's all coming together. To the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Oh, 
He should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? Let me see. A strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. I wonder if they'll try and elect a new leader the after this. That letter? Maybe. Well, obviously, the killer. The killer? Hmm. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so focused right now. And Gage says Among Us and turns his head and stares at me. And I'm like, what? I had to think about it for so long. Who's the one who killed Byakuya? Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! Why would they actually if do they that? they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. For once, I agree with you. But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? No. What is it, Miss Sonia? <laughs> Alright, Soda. I regret that I must return to this topic, but... I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. Oh, no. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? The glowing paint. The glowing duct tape. Yeah. You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Bum, bum. Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. No, the killer definitely used a mark. And because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under the table into his hands. Glowing paint. Glowing paint. Let's see! What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Yeah. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. Bom, bom. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. No! <laughs> Soda, shut up. Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! <laughs> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? Oh no. That's a good point. It is. Oh, I guess she's not. <laughs> that, believe her so got easily. me. I don't think she'd be able to use circuit breaker in the office. I don't care about a technicality like that. I don't care about good points. <laughs> By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Pekka was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? After this debate, blue-colored weak spots will start up here. <laughs> Great. We call these weak spots. You said it's argue spots. The blue colored spots are what we call agree spots. Okay, so you, we can agree with people now. Okay. Okay. When shooting agree spots with truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, please fire the truth bullets that prove the other person's testimony is correct. When your truth bullets merge with their weakness, it will become a logically sound agreement. Isn't it a little hot in here? From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. If you press the menu button. Okay. 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 At least we can like look through this like 20 times if we need to. Yeah, seriously. Okay, Turteros, Chiakis, Nekomarus. Okay, Nekomarus is... Um, he had to use the bathroom when the door was locked. Office. Yeah. Uh, Teru Teru's was that he was in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. And then... Peko? Chiaki's was that she, she was, was just outside. chilling outside and then uh, gangster guy showed up. Okay. 
and then we'll see who says what that we can agree or disagree with. So we'll just she watch. Caused the blackout at any time. So not agreeing with that one. It's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. She was in the bathroom because not of Nekomaru's account. What happened to your guard duty? Yeah, Sorry. seriously. Sorry, I had the poops. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. I'm gonna make her admit she has stinky diarrhea poops. Just from listening to Pecco's testimony, it's not weird to doubt her. But I feel like I spoke to someone during the investigation who totally backs up her testimony. So, Nekomaru, it should be, right? Yeah, because Chiki was outside, and the other dude's in the... Time. Feel ya, feel ya. Wait, do I have to agree with that? I, what happened to your guard duty? I think after Sorry. that. Oh, you went to There's the nothing, nothing else to agree with after that. Excuse. I think it's the not even before the blackout. And then we agree with that, right? Yeah, because he said the bathroom is full before the blackout. Okay, okay. Just Since making Pecco sure. Was in the office, she could have caused a black box and puff, huh? What? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the book. Boom! Oh, yeah. I agree! No way! It's the same effect every time. <laughs> you grease? What? I think Pecco is telling the truth. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pecco. Dude, I'm... we're trying to live here, okay? Yeah. I mean, honestly. This all just worked together, like guys. Nikomaru's account is actually Pecco's alibi. <laughs> He's probably like, it is? <laughs> <laughs> and now Pecco's gonna get all. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time. That's Before why she wanted to do the guard duty, it's because she had to use the bathroom. Well, I think it was both him and Pecco that had stomach issues. Yeah, but neither it was only like two people who ate. So where did that come from? Was was he one of the people who ate the food? No, it was only two people. It was Pecco and uh Akane and Boob. So this guy didn't eat any? So why was he sick? Did he eat and we just didn't realize it? Maybe. Uh, let's uh Let's keep going. Yeah. Let's, let's keep going. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. Yeah. I guess that would be true. What do you mean would be? We're Bro, literally saving you your butt. Pooping. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier. You can just admit you have to poop. There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. She should. Our friend got murdered. We're, We're trying, trying not to, to die. <laughs> she locked herself in the bathroom for that long? There's no doubt. It's shit. Yeah, I'm afraid to say so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a <laughs> I love his character. Hey, He's great. Were you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? How oh, kinda. No, I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking? Poop girl, about poop, this girl poop girl, poop girl. Poop girl. Poopy uh -huh. Pecco, poopy Pecco. <laughs> <laughs> Pecco poopy Yama. <laughs> Don't worry, the smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom <laughs> So reassuring. It was vile. <laughs> I said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? Yeah, did you? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, just I before was or after you ate the, the food. Bathroom, yeah. Including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? So I know, someone guilty. put a truth bullet through this guy's head. I hope he's so Stop. guilty. <laughs> yeah, literally, we literally told him. Still, your stomach pain. 
Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. Hey, he's got a point, though. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. <laughs> <laughs> Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Hmm. Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? But then what about the ironing things? What do those have to do with anything? It's got to be those that broke the power, right? Because no one was tall enough to trip the breaker. Except Nikomaru, who was outside. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even anywhere near that. As far as we know. We, we don't even know if he ate. So he might have not gotten slipped any laxatives. So he could have been faking it. Um... For anyone who doesn't know, laxatives make you poop, so moving on. I see. Yep. That might have happened. The question is whether Pecco's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Was the poop real or not? Real poo or not real poo? <laughs> Vote in the comments below. AC timer night was an embarrassing pose, party party dishes. I would think. I would think. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Just the party dishes? Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? Right, did you eat it? Just a little bit from the dining hall. Yeah. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Turn That's not an agree, though. Food, how mm -hmm. I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste. Would they? Whether Pecco's stomach ache was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Also, I think they would. Because I, I hear that those things taste bad. Anyway, huh. it was a coincidence. Did you eat anything There's weird? There's some pose, night was in goggles, AC 10. I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you it has to be party it. dishes, right? Right. You brought food to the office, right? It should be this one coming up, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. Which one? The one Teru Teru says? This one. This one? one? This one? You think, think so? Let's try it. Teru Teru I missed! <laughs> I just I shot her instead. Like misfire. That. So you don't think it's... Would ruin the taste. So we can't really argue that it ruined the taste. Yeah, what, what basis do we have for that? Nothing says anything about taste. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it has to be Her laxatives. Do you or... eat anything weird? Okay, let me try it. Oh, oh it tells you how far it is at the top right. Now that oh, that's you nice. It, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Boom! No, that's wrong! I don't know what we're saying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. This sometimes just goes like that. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Akane didn't get... That's... Okay, there it is, because Akane wasn't sick. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it. <laughs> like how we didn't understand it until we got it right. <laughs> some of it. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had some Oh, she would have. She ate like 90% I of it. I feel yeah. totally fine. <laughs> like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. Oh, we got more to come, buddy. <laughs> I apologize for causing a scene. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him by laxative. What if Ibuki heard that as well <laughs> during the blackout? <laughs> uh, yeah, I also heard her pooping. <laughs> Hiko terrible. should apologize, not you. Yeah. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. No, he's not. He's just putting them out. I don't like her at all. You know? No. I like her. Fuck did you say, bitch? Okay, that's not the right reaction either, though. Cease <laughs> this bickering. Let's just dismiss Pecco's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Good idea, good idea. I like her, though. She's my favorite. What's up? What you thinking? You got that Jim Carrey hunch looking. Mm, <laughs> then why the sudden... Stomach ache. Is it just a coincidence? 
Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll find We already it. know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. God. Jeez. Uh, trashy skank? <laughs> as long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. The irons! The irons! It's gotta be the irons. Irons and storage room. Irons and storage room. How it happened. Irons and storage room. They were all plugged in and they shorted the power. Hmm. Who tripped the brain? How did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. <laughs> did they throw a stone and hit it? No, because it was. Maybe they used a remote control. That well, maybe that one. They probably messed with the breaker. And these are all agrees, aren't they? Does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power. That one, that one, that one. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. All right, hold on. I just well, want to go through the whole thing. Power oh, okay, yeah. That's the... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I got excited. By the way, I'm not a trashy skank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're thinking the irons in the storage room caused a power surge. Did you pick the right one? No, I need to. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? Okay. What's the password? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you oh, on the B. head. Did What's the silence? Maybe they used a remote control? Uh, that comes in later. And I don't really remember. <laughs> it gets really complicated. <laughs> they may have tampered with the power yeah, supply the and one. transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? Chabuya! I agree! Finally! I agree with you with something. I have one of these times it's like an RPG and like everyone explodes. <laughs> it's just as my Wu said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Ooh. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. That's right. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Okay, okay. I'm still confused why Nagito was all like sussy about the storage room the maybe whole time. he was just like there's nothing else here oh. but that seems too that's too big of a coincidence unless yeah. you think maybe nagito and terra terra work together accomplices i don't know because that's my money's still on terra terra that's fair yeah i, I don't have my money seems on anyone I, I think i think that's a very fair i, I don't like making bets because every time i've made a bet in this game it's always like Nope. <laughs> Wasn't them. I guess the Amori twist. That's all I'm saying. Fair. I got credit to my name. You do. Yo. Stupid fool! <laughs> Whoa! Back off. Hold on a second. Let me oh, not this you. mini game. I know. I hate this one. What the heck? What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! Okay. Bro. Rebuttal showdown. Irons and storage room. Storage room tablecloth. Cause yeah, we know there was blood there. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Storage room tablecloth. And that means everyone who is in the dining this hall. One? Damn it! Wait, why do you think the storage room Because tablecloth? they had to have gone to the storage room because the bloody tablecloth is in there. But I guess that's an after. That, that's after that. Oh, yeah. There wouldn't be any blood before. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout... AC timer? Then for the killer to turn the irons on... I'm thinking so. You're saying they went all the way to the... And that means everyone who is in the... When the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. The people who were in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. Is that really it? Narrowing down the suspects like that is dangerous. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, I think we should try storage room tablecloth. And for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage, and that means everyone who was in the when the blackout occurred. Can't be do you do it only when the words pop up? I have no idea. If the irons I need to learn how this mini game works. And for the killer to turn the irons off, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that oh, I get it now. You have to chop the words with the right point. 
cross swords. Hey, <laughs> press A! Press A! No! I figured. Stop! The irons in the storage room. And for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who is in the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Haha, <laughs> I exceeded you. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the blackout, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that and turn on the irons. Uh, what? Now do you intend to take back what you said? No, what? If it's true the irons were responsible for the blackout, the AC the timer? The lamp? The, no. the lamp's the not even an option. The then the killer had to go I to missed. The storage room and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? No. Okay. All right. Let's try this one more. The killer had to go no, to the I screwed it up. I don't understand. Now do you intend I, I to have to chop their words in half. But I need the right sword. The people in the dining hall weren't able to. The irons caused the blackout. Oh, wrong one. This not even real ones. I took in damage. The dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the blackout, then the killer had to go to <laughs> Hold the Hold on, I'll get it. And turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? No. Oh. Alright. But the people in the I think dining it's this hall one, maybe. To, if the irons caused the blackout. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Okay. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office. Oh, off. they overloaded it by clicking on at that time. The air conditioners. It wasn't them. It wasn't the alarm. It was just so they'd click on and oversurge the power. So with the the lamp. The air conditioners and the iron. Mm -hmm. All of that at the same time is what broke it. Okay, I thought it was the alarm sounding that would like message both like, people in different rooms at the same time, or something like that. Or just the reminder, like, "Hey, we do this now." Yeah, for some weird event, but it was just to oversurge the power. Air conditioner. <laughs> the timers for both air conditioners were set to 11:30 p.m. 11:30 p.m. Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time too. She's so rude. She's so what? Rude. What did she say? That was rude. She calls him Mr. Ham Ham's man's dead. He has see, Mr. He has Ham Ham. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. Okay. I see. I understand. Indubitably. All right. Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> he probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If okay. so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout indubitably. Indubitably. Indubitably? <laughs> Miss Sonia. Not you too. <laughs> Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> wow. Is she right? Such a hateful bear. You deserve to die a thousand deaths. Well, that's pretty hateful sounding too. A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut oh up. no. You guys just stay <laughs> Love that. I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. Maybe okay. The murder wouldn't have occurred. Okay. Interesting. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. We're getting closer. It's all right. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like is you Is it guys. him? Ah. 
Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. What's wrong with That's him? He's I... being weird. Huh? Uh, Nagito? <laughs> what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk Was about it the really incident. him? I, I don't know. <laughs> for now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Hmm. Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. Now you're painting a picture for yourself. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. Hmm. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately. I mean, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. You, uh, you're changing your story again? Anyway. I <laughs> anyway. I have a different thought now. I'm so confused now. Has anyone thought about our situation? I need more clues. Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? No. Doesn't that mean? Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. What are you talking Who's about? Expecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. What are you trying to accomplish? I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I, I don't want to do this either. Makes mm. you look guilty. Me too. Please take me home already. Ah, I want to go home and eat candy. I thought you were supposed to be the calm and composed one. Stop it. If everyone acts like this, okay. I'm gonna. Everyone, calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way. Now you tell what happened to you. Yeah, what are you up? trying to do here? Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. <laughs> Who cares? There are no clues that lead to the killer. Yes, there anyway. are. Not a single one. I don't like the way you say that. Man. What's wrong? Ooh. I think. I think. <laughs> Did you say something? Uh oh. That's a new face. You know who the killer is? 